today we are talking about two of the most famous and successful football clubs in the world Kaiser Chiefs Amako C and Manchester United the Red Devil but in recent years both clubs have struggled to maintain their dominance so the question of the day is what has led to the decline of these once mighty giants of the game so join us as we delve into the reasons behind the fall of Kaiser Chiefs and Manchester United we are currently in a transfer season and one of the things that Manchester United fans and Kaiser Chiefs fans have been complaining about you've been complaining about lack of investment Glazers on the side of United the Mdaungs on the side of Kaiser Chiefs they just don't want to invest in the squad Umlali we hear and we the Chiefs want him Kuzakshayu August E team hasn't signed him and then one other team comes in and then they sign that player and then we start blaming the other teams for whatever reason and in the case here chiefs we've been blaming the sundowns a lot but oh, it's sundowns they are just signing players blah 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 manchester united they just bottled e dilga cody Gakpo who they were rumored to which they want to sign and all of a sudden liverpool comes in they are linked with the player for two hours they sign him boom walk on you never walk alone each of said they are linked with abu baka naziri yeah from january last year then the next thing you know boom sometimes they signed him and all these other players that we end up losing to other teams because these teams just don't want to invest in the right personnel and because of that you end up just seeing players just going to other teams and the other thing very good in about investment but if you don't appoint the right managers to the team King. Now, in a case here, Chiefs, you don't have managers like they do in England. Uguti. Basically, the manager works hand in hand with the sporting director and signing and bringing in players. In South African football, it's more like just a coach, a coach, and you get a badali. They just give you the players and say, okay, you have to work with this. And if you can't work with this, well, tough luck. And that's been the case with the Chiefs. And that's been the case with coaches coming to the Chiefs saying, I didn't have an option with who am I going to sign? And how is this player going to fit in my style? And then you have to work with them. On the case of Manchester United, ever since Sir Alex Ferguson left the team, they just been shambles. And everyone else who has come after him has failed to do anything close to what he did for them now i think with united the other issue is the fact that use alex ferguson was in the club for a long time and he ended up having so a lot of authority in the decisions that were made because they knew Uti, he's been with them for a long time but with the other guys or oh, david moore is going to united or oh, louis van Gaal, bonk and the other coaches who have coached afterwards they were brought in more like what was happening with chiefs Uti, they were trying to re Martin reignite the fire for a season or two and then bring in a coach who can coach the team long term, which has been the case with the Chiefs. Uguti, Gavin Hunt said he didn't want to come to the Chiefs, and I don't think the Chiefs really wanted Gavin Hunt to be there long term, but they got him to come to the Chiefs because they wanted him to reignite the fire. Then they could get someone to coach the team long term in Atazwane. So I think Ipua management has also played a huge role in the downfall of both the chiefs and manchester united if you're enjoying this video please do make sure to like the video if you're new to this channel subscribe and also let me know down on the comment section what you think has been something that i did not talk about with regards to these two teams number four is one of the most important things competition competition yabona e competition between E Chiefs in the Sundowns in the Pirates and all Cape Town City, Bavumbugile Manje, they are competing with the Chiefs. Amazulu, they are also competing with the Chiefs for players, for positions. Or Stellan Bosch finished above the Chiefs. It's no longer Uguta Badlalu will want to come to the Chiefs by default because Chiefs is the biggest team in South African football. But now they have options. Ugut, wait a minute. I can compete for a top four playing for e, 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 e Cape Town City or top three or whatever. I can just go to Sundowns because Bona they are playing 
good Champions League. I can go to Pirates, they're playing for good Champions League. Hell, I can even go to my Rumo Gallants. They are competing. We have Confederations Cup and the Chiefs is not even playing in any of those things. And the Chiefs is still operating under the mentality of Guti Aibu. We are the biggest team in the in South Africa. And if you don't bring players to us, it's because you have some beef with us. No, it's because they know which you're not the only option that's there. You're not the only option who they can sell a player to. If we have a then it's fine. Someone else will come in and buy the player from us. It's no longer 1987 where it was either you or Pirates or Sundowns. I'm chances among man. Things have changed and I feel like both teams have not realized that because even Namanje in Manchester United with it daily, they, they, <laughs> they lost two players to Liverpool. June, they were supposed to sign with David Nunes. Liverpool came in and signed him. Again, you have Ukodi Pukakpo as I talked about him earlier. Again, now they were busy not signing him. He ended up going to Liverpool again. That's another player. Those are not the only two players that they've lost to other teams. There are other players that they've lost to other teams that you think, huh? This team seems less than United or smaller than United, yet the player ends up going to the other team. In the time of Alex Ferguson, that wasn't the case. When United wanted a player, they would choose United all the time over Liverpool because Liverpool were playing poorly. But at this point, that's not happening. The other things they get very good, they relate to the fact that each Chiefs na United one, they are not communicating na Balande. Si no vina ma posa ku Chiefs, we don't know buti um seven zwake yin gashe gashe because he ends up not communicating to the team. We have the management who don't talk to the team. Manchester United fans complain about the same thing. The Glazers don't communicate to the fans. They don't say anything to the fans. And because of that, there is this misunderstanding and, and clash between the fans and the management because the way they are running our respective clubs is just making us say, you know what, we love this team so much, but the way these people are running the team it's really causing us to have a bad taste of the team. I know a lot of people, I was talking to a friend two days ago, I was talking about Ugut is really tired of the Chiefs because now they just let Uplom go. That's another issue that we can discuss on another day. But the way you like, I'm tired. I'm not going to watch the Chiefs anymore. I read a comment of someone else saying, I am not going to watch the Chiefs anymore. And yeah, there are a lot of people like that. It's sad, Uguti, they are losing fans. People are, are not interested anymore because they know what you investing in this team is just setting yourself up for failure because they are not going to do the things that they're supposed to do so a lot needs to change for these teams to get on top i want chiefs to get on top i don't want manchester united to get on top what did i leave out let me know down in the comment section below and until next time remember equals